how's it going? Nat here with the first episode of BTN Newsbreak for 2021. Coming up on the show, Western Australia's lockdown, Bluey sets a new record, and the truth about wombat poo. But before we get started, why don't you go ahead and hit subscribe. Go on. Two million people in Western Australia have woken up this morning to their first full day of lockdown. It all started after a quarantine worker tested positive to COVID-19. Leela finds out what's going on. When people first found out about the looming lockdown, things got a little silly. Oh, good boy, good boy. Let's go, let's run. Someone got coronavirus and we've been asked to stay home for five days. There are scenes we've seen before in other parts of the country, but this time around, it's two million Western Australians and their pets, aw, stuck at home. Authorities are contact tracing a hotel quarantine security guard who tested positive for the virus, and they want to make sure it doesn't spread. For now, lots of shops are closed and people have to stay home unless they have a really good reason to leave. And when they do go out, they have to wear a mask. Since the decision of going into lockdown, Schools are on holiday for another week. Which for some isn't necessarily the worst thing ever. I will relax, eat, sleep, play video games. I'm happy because I get to play Lego, go on my iPad and relax. But I have a feeling my dad's going to make me do this. ABC favourite Bluey has set another new record. The show's soundtrack has become the first children's music album ever to top the ARIA charts. Bluey's an Aussie-made production, and since it first premiered in 2018, it's broken heaps of online viewer records, popular with both kids and adults, and presumably other anthropomorphic blue healers. The show's makers couldn't be happier with their chart-topping position and have thanked fans for their support. Bluey! Did you know that Wombat Poo Looks like this. Yeah, its cube shape has puzzled scientists for years and years, but now scientists in Tassie reckon they've got to the bottom of it. Quite literally. Here's Kale. It's the poopy puzzle people have pondered for years. Why are you cubed? And now we reckon we've got an answer. Protective Kale, come quickly. They figured out the wombat. It's been sort of one of the sort of mysteries in science that we just don't know how they're able to produce that. This is Dr. Scott Carver. He's a wombat scientist. And two years ago, he stumbled upon a fascinating discovery. When we were opening them up, suddenly we were discovering that all these cubes were actually formed inside the intestine, the last metre of their intestine. Now, there have been a few theories about the cubic plops. Some people thought that the wombat sphincter, the part where the poo comes out, uh, was square shaped. Others thought that the wombat might have patted it into shape. <sighs> Turns out it's actually got to do with the gut. Wombat's intestines are about 10 metres long and they're made up of really thick and really thin bits of muscle that contract and shrink to shape the poo. Wombats produce about 80 to 100 pellets of poo every single day, and often it's used to mark their territory. What are you guys going to do with all these extra poo factoids? I don't know. But for us here at Poo Investigators, it's case closed. Right. Should we check out the whale? Yeah. We're going to cool it down now because while we in Australia are in the middle of a hot summer, other people in other parts of the world, well, for them it's more like snow, snow and more snow. <laughs> First up, let's head to London where animals and humans alike frolicked in the recent snow after weeks of lockdown. But some inhabitants of London Zoo were a little more cautious. Nikki, the pygmy hippo, decided after some brief thought that it wasn't for her. The Western lowland gorillas weren't that bothered, but the zoo's otter pups absolutely loved it. Snow doesn't mean you have to be out in the cold, though. Tourists at this ski resort in Kashmir can get a hot drink and some food at this igloo cafe. The tables and chairs are admittedly made out of ice and snow, but it still looks kind of cosy, I guess. Heading to the US now, where snow blanketed the nation's capital, Washington, D.C. Before it got too heavy, people and their pets made the most of it. I've lived here for two and a half years and this is the first good snow 
not on a weekday that we've had. Well, that's all from us today. But in the meantime, why don't you hit subscribe? The button's there somewhere. You'll find it. And we'll see you again tomorrow.